Ranking the top 10 world tour jerseys of 2022. This video is highly opinion based and I'm sure you guys will have your own ideas about which jerseys are the best from the current crop of world tour teams. Feel free to roast me in the comments. We'll start with the worst looking jersey and work our way up to my favorite jersey race this year. In at number 10, Bora, Hansgrohe. Although not the worst jersey design in the world tour, I only had room for 10 in this table, I'm sorry Bora your jersey is at the bottom. For me it's too blocky, it looks too much like La Vie Claire cycling team back in the 80s, which I'm not a fan of. Number 9, Lotto. It's an inoffensive design, just a red jersey with a white area for the main sponsors. Nothing to shout home about. Having said that, it's a definite improvement over their kit from the 80s. Number 8, Quick Step Alpha Vinyl. Jersey to bibs shorts gradient blend works well. I'd like to see them use the Wolfpack detail in the jersey design, instead of it being limited to a badge on the neck. There's some potential there that's not being exploited fully. The sponsors also all look very crammed in at the top of the chest making it feel a bit top heavy. Number 7. Trek, Segafredo. It appears from a distance, minimal with sponsors, despite having a similar number to Quickstep. I think this is due to the red rectangle, whilst the other smaller brands are all black, with the exception of the S in Segafredo. It's a nice clean jersey, and it's a good evolution from the previous. Number 6. UAE Team Emirates. I feel like this is basically last year's Trek jersey, but with the use of red gradient on the sleeves this jersey still looks like a fresh take. The way the sponsors are spread on the front makes for a good composition. I just really don't like the UAE logo, I think it looks really boring and lets this jersey down. There hasn't been much love for this logo, has there? Number 5. Israel Premier Tech. The special Israel Field of Dreams jersey is a lovely little jersey, incorporating that much-needed color to an otherwise pretty mediocre original 2022 design. I like the subtlety of the logos on this jersey, they really exploited the opportunity to raise awareness for the campaign with this design which is awesome. Great cause, great design. Number 4. Ineos Grenadiers. I really like the simplicity of this design, with the most minimal sponsors and with the signature line down the back, it's just a nice and smart design. The car on the other hand, personally I think it looks dated, the old style Defender should have stayed discontinued. Number 3. Movie Star. Another kit with minimal sponsors. With the pinstripe details, it's a nice and classy jersey. They've also gone back to the darker shade of blue, which I preferred in all honesty, but crucially they maintained the blue Movie Star logo. Number 2. EF Education Easy Post. I can't imagine that many people would have a bike that could match this kit unless you're on the team. On their second collaboration in two years, Palace and Rafa have come together to produce the most Marmite jersey, possibly ever. It's not to everybody's taste, but it's such a unique design that love it or hate it, it has to be near the top of this list. And, in at number one. Jumbo Visma. It has to be the Jumbo aptly named Masterpiece. What a gorgeous design, based on the works of Rembrandt, Van Gogh and Vermeer. It's unlike any jersey we've seen before. A true masterpiece as the name suggests although you can only appreciate the detail up close. Let me know what your favorite jersey is of 2022 below. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for more.